हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एकेडमी ड्रीम चैनल एकेडमी ड्रीम चैनल इज ए चैनल हुएर ए डिस्कशन एंड वीडियोस आर प्रिपेयर फॉर बीएड लेवल अंडर एनसीटी सो एकेडमी ड्रीम चैनल इज लाइक ए क्लासरूम ऑफ योर बीएड हाइवर टुडे वी लर्न ए पेपर और बीएड लेवल बीएड अंदर एनसीटी सब्जेक्ट इज फाउंडेशन ऑफ एजुकेशन वी लर्न टुडे द पेपर कॉल्ड फाउंडेशन ऑफ एजुकेशन व्हिच इज प्रेस्क्राइब बाय एनसीटी एंड डिफरेंट यूनिवर्सिटीज यूज्ड दिस पेपर इन डिफरेंट सेमेस्टर हाइवर दिस इज ए बेसिक content paper of NCTE. So under the foundation of education, different units are there. Today our discussion will be on psychological foundation. So dear trainees, today we will learn foundation of education but that part of foundation of education which is known as psychological foundation. There is sociological foundation, another unit, but today our discussion will be on psychological foundation. So let us see what is our topic today from psychological foundation. The topic is actually application of educational psychology. But I have written a question in favor of the topic application of educational psychology. The question is, what is the importance of educational psychology for a teacher? What is the educational, what is the importance of educational psychology for a teacher? Or the question may be asked in that way, what is the use of educational psychology for a teacher? What is the application of educational psychology in the field of education? Why as a teacher you should study educational psychology? Or a question even may be asked, why educational psychology is a basic part of BA course? So a question, uh, the concept is same, the question may be of different types. Thus I have taken the question, what is the importance of educational psychology for a teacher? That means application of simply application of educational psychology as it is written in the syllabus. However, to answer this question, dear trainees, I have pointed out eight points. There may be more points. But these are the eight points which will clear why educational psychology is important for a teacher why a teacher should study educational psychology. Dear trainees, today we will learn what is the importance of educational psychology for a teacher by using all these eight points. You will remember in B.A. level the course is very vast and it is not possible or it is not advisable to learn one, uh, one line after another or to recite the paragraph or uh, to answer in the final exam. Better you understand, you put some points, understand those points and just enlarge the point by two or three lines. Suppose to understand the child, a teacher should learn the educational psychology. Just you have to describe this point in two or three lines that while the teacher will go through educational psychology he will know how to study the children so that is why the teacher should understand the educational psychology number two to understand individual difference as we know there is individual difference among the people in the world, <clears throat> there is no two child physically or mentally alike. 
so a teacher must learn individual difference among children and at the same time the teacher should utilize the concept in his teaching learning process number 3 to use children's interest we must learn children's interest all the children are not interested in same topic same subject in academic areas or co curricular activities so we must understand the children interest and we must utilize that and how to understand the interest of the children it can be known from the study of education and psychology number 4 formulation of attainable goals in the educational field there are certain goals which should be set by the teacher and goal should be set or prepared in such a way that we can attain them and to attain to prepare or set the attainable goal the teacher must understand educational psychology from from where he can draw such knowledge to understand laws of learning number 5 to understand laws of learning a teacher must go for educational psychology so what are the laws of learning probably you have learned already that in educational psychology there is a chapter called learning and in learning there is a theory called connectionism in this theory thorndike the great psychologist put forward a three basic laws of learning that is law of motivation or preparation law of or readiness law of exercise law of effect so all these laws are very important to motivate and to ensure effective teaching a teacher must know all these basic laws of learning and it is only possible for the study of educational psychology number 6 to understand heredity and environment there is great influence of heredity and environment on individuals life on individuals personality on individuals iq or intelligence so how to study the heredity what is the influence of heredity on children's life how environment influence on the education of children all can be understood by a teacher from the study of educational psychology number 7 to understand the techniques it will be as techniques to maintain discipline so maintaining discipline is a serious problem great challenge for the teachers in school level it is not to the way to maintain discipline by using rod or stick rather we must utilize the technique of maintaining discipline and a teacher can understand a teacher can know a teacher can realize the techniques of maintaining discipline in the classroom and school if the teacher study educational psychology and finally to understand teachers role so teacher is one of the very important component of education system and the teacher must understand better his role in the field of education so to understand to make the uh, to make oneself good teacher he must understand both the hardware and software techniques invented and discovered by educational psychology and that will make a teacher great so to make this effective and a teacher must understand his role in the field of education 
and at the same time he must understand his role in teaching learning process and to understand his role better he must go through educational psychology so dear learners and trainees we have discussed eight points in favor of importance of educational psychology for a teacher if you just like write one or two lines in favor of each point it will be a good note for you to write answer in the final exam i think so you have understood better today we will meet once again by taking new concept new topic